I didn't know I was recording myself. Real quick guys, before I start this video, I just want to let you guys know, technically, this video is going to be sponsored on my behalf by Mocan Power Equipment in Spring Hill, Kansas. The reason I'm saying that, while I was down there, uh, Rob was helping me start putting together this project SCAG and helping me figure out the problems that I have and things I need to fix. And while talking to him, he was telling me about how he really, really needs a good shop mechanic down at Mocan Power Equipment. So if you guys are in the Spring Hill, Kansas area, Olathe, Overland Park, in that Kansas area, and you're looking for a job, tinker on some mowers, uh, you love getting your hands dirty and working on machinery, Rob is definitely looking for some people to hire down there. So if you guys are looking for a job opportunity with Mocan Power Equipment, check the description out at the top. I'll have information for you guys to be able to send your information to Rob over at Mocan and get that process started. Like I said, shout out to Mocan for helping me out. If you guys are looking for a job, he's definitely hiring. All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna start working on the welding portion, and this is actually mixed in the middle of another video I'm already shooting, so it may get confusing in post, but uh, we got all the old spindles off of this deck right now, and at this point, without having all that other stuff under the deck, we're gonna get into welding the issues that are on the deck. So in this video, we're gonna do all the welding stuff, so that's where we're at right now. We're gonna lift this up and uh, get figured out what all these little stress cracks and issues are on this deck and get those all tacked up, so let's go. So the metal is cracked right here and there's there's quite a bit of movement up here on top. Uh, what we've done is we've ground it down to get down to bare metal. You, know, you have to have bare metal in order to weld, otherwise you're going to get a lot of cracklies, you're not going to get good penetration or whatnot. So we ground it down, stuck a burr tool in there to get all these edges real crispy. We're getting ready to lower this deck down just a little bit, put a little bit of tension on this tensioner pulley to pull the deck up a little bit, put a couple tack welds in it. Then we're gonna run a string weld across this and it should be good to go. So this one right here, so that one over there is actually a crack. Air light showing through that crack. This one right here is just a small stress fracture. It is here, but while we're under here welding, went ahead and cleaned this up. Just gonna run a short little, clean little bead across this to clean it up, good to go. All right guys, so they just got done welding up the underneath side of this deck. We're going to be moving up to the top side deck. Yep. And getting that cleaned up and welded as well. And like I said, there's a couple other spots on the frame and deck height adjustment that need to be welded too, but we'll get into that here in a little bit. But uh, we'll go up top here in a second and do that. Then after that, later on when we get to the other side, we'll be uh, doing the frame stuff. So let's go up top. All right, guys, so we're on the welding portion of yeah. the video. As you can see right here on the deck height adjustment, it's cracked all the way around it, so we're going to get that fixed. And there's a little stress crack right here on the top part of whatever the hell this is going to be called. So we're going to get that fixed and this fixed and should be pretty much done with all the weld shit. We might take one more little quick walk around and just make sure there's not something ridiculous that we're missing. So we're gonna get all this fixed up and move on to the next thing. 
Yeah! He did it. <laughs> kind of a pain here. We pretty much got to take the whole assembly off for raising and lowering the deck here. Just to wow. get to this spot to get into it to weld it. So guys, new issue. When we were taking this wheel off so we could weld this issue, we did notice that the wheel motor seal is kind of going bad on this one. It's not real bad at the moment, but it's starting to go that way. And we went ahead and we took off the uh, wheel on the other side, and it seems like this wheel motor seal is absolutely fine. So just picking up one little seal for that other side, and we're back in business over there. All right, guys, so the crack we have right here through the uh, top control panel, whatever you want to call that little setup over there. I keep wanting to call it the frame, but I don't think it's the frame necessarily. We have an identical sister matching crack on the other side, so we're going to fix both of those. He had to take the gas tank off to get to that, but, you know, if it's not one thing, it's always another. Just four bolts, baby. No big deal. Nothing dead. NBD. So we got Rob over here doing Rob stuff, and one of the Rob things is, since he's a guy who owns a shop that services mowers, he's finding every little thing every. wrong with this thing that I never would have even thought of or found of, because I don't run Skags, I don't know about them, but that's what he's doing over here, is finding an issue, bad issue, good issue, no issue, some issue? A little bit of an issue. A little bit of an issue, okay. I'm not going to worry about that one right now, because it wasn't on the damn list. But I got Randy over here with this cool hat on. He's getting ready to do some welding. So we got this little hey Randy, crack that runs through on both sides. <laughs> and then the little one around here. We're going to get into that. You have to turn it on or something? So, yeah. What's worse now? Yeah, it's kind of a joke around here. We start shining the light to the ground. Cornhole. Cornhole. All right, so Andy left the camera behind, and they had to go to two uh, tractor supply to get some parts. First of all, my camera fell over today. I put my $600 lens on his camera so that we can get a wide shot today instead of being up here all close with the little bitty thing. So my $600 lens is broke. The, the zoom no longer works smoothly or well. This thing is getting comical, to say the least. <laughs> Every single nut that we take off, there's something broke behind it. So he's got the entire linkage taken apart right here. They went to Tractor Supply to get bushings for, uh, I don't know, this lift lever here. Uh, bushings on both sides. The main deck, uh, the main deck lifters or supports back here, the bushings on both sides are gone, just trashed. The bushings inside of the front tires themselves, they're bad. Uh, they're just gonna roll like that though. This is just a project and there's a lot of projects to do on this thing. Uh, we should have been gone a long time ago. It's just supposed to be spindles and leveling the deck. But like I say, every time they take something off, something has to re be replaced. Just like the welds on the bottom of the deck, we were just supposed to fix a crack underneath the deck, but we wound up fixing a crack here a crack here, a crack down here, and the exact same on the other side. A lot of stress fractures in this mower for some reason. Uh, had to take the gas tank off, fix this one here. That one down there, got them ground down. Okay. Uh, yeah, so got to throw some paint on the welds. But guys, it is comical how much work he's having to do on this thing. Well, hey guys, it looks like this video doesn't have an ending. That's because we stayed up super late at Mocan and kept running into issues with this project. But 
this is gonna be the outro. As soon as I get this mower back in my hands, I have to go there in a couple days, finish putting the mower all back together and getting it back to my house. And as soon as I do that, you're gonna have an update video on all the little minor other things we had to fix along with it. So thanks for checking out the videos. Make sure you check out the playlist. I'm gonna have a playlist on all the stuff I am doing to this old beat up used mower. So make sure you check out those other videos too. Guys, I appreciate your support. Thanks for checking out the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have not, I would appreciate it so you can stay up to date. Make sure you click that bell. I don't even know if you guys are clicking the bell, but ring, ding, dong, click the bell, man. Come on, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.